Pace, Filio, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <clears throat> Come, Holy Spirit, by means of the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart Mary, your well beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, by means of the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart Mary, your well beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, by means of the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart Mary, your well beloved spouse. O Mary, conceived of our sin, pray for us our recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived of our sin, pray for us our recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived of our sin, pray for us our recourse to thee. I pray this rosary, especially in honor of Saint Lawrence of Brindisi, or Lorenzo da Brindisi. Pray especially on the St. Lawrence uh, um, of Brindisi. Um, and ask, we ask for his intercession. But let us learn something about St. Lawrence of Brindisi before we start. And we ask him for his intercession over our lives. Let us learn about it. I'm going to take this from um, the information and before we pray a rosary in, the, in, the, in his honour. Asking for his intercession. We're going to read um, this from the lives of the fathers and martyrs and other principal saints by the Reverend Alban Butler. Now, St. Lawrence of Brindisi was born in 1559 and died in 1619. Now, not even to the greatest saints has it been often granted to combine in one person the linguistic ability of a cardinal. Mezzofanti, the leadership of Peter the Hermit, and the missionary zeal of St. Vincent Ferrier, who is the patron of missionaries with uh, St. Teresa, the child Jesus. Yet these wonderful gifts and qualities were all salient in St. Lawrence of Brindisi, who was born at the city of the <coughs> Heel of Italy in 1559. His father, Guglielmo de Rossi or Russi was of the middle rank, as was also his mother, Elizabeth Marseilla. But what really mattered was both parents were good, practical, practical Catholics. There some seems to have been one of those many individuals of genius who, fortunately or unfortunately, never had a childhood in the sense of years. Of attraction to the things of a child, games, amusements, and the like. He was placed for his schooling among the the Tiatine fathers of Brindisi, where his progress was so rapid that when not much older than six, he was chosen to be the boy bishop to preach to the children in church on the feast of the Holy Innocence. At the age of twelve, he lost his father. But by this time he was already proficient in Latin, far advanced enough to be able to go to Venice, Venice to continue his studies at the choir school of the Cathedral of St. Mark. When 16 he entered the Capuchins, exchanging his baptismal names of, of Julius to Lawrence. But all during his life much of the courage, ability and firmness of the Roman general and consul, always shown forth from under the habit of the Franciscan conventuals. His superiors were not slow to perceive that their latest novice was a youth of exceptional talent. At the University of Padua, now the University of Padua was founded by Frederick II in 1221, Dr. William Harvey, discoverer of the circulation of the blood, was one of the most famous graduates and his coat of arms emblazoned on the walls of one of the corridors of the medical school. And at the University of Palette where he went to pursue his addition his higher studies, this is St. Lawrence of Brindisi. He made professors and students alike, though at the time the great academy of the north of Italy was at the very zenith probably of its fame. Lawrence belonged to the fourth faculty of the university that of philosophy, and he may have been still studying there when that peri pathetic wonder of the age, the Admiral Crichon, arrived in 1581 and challenged the whole university, the gauge 
been to confute the traditional interpretation of Aristotle and expose the errors of the professors of mathematics. A vast undertaking, but one which the amazing young Scotsman is said to have successfully achieved in four days. What Lawrence is present thought of this temporary eclipse of the great luminary of the schools is not recorded. His own Tanlayan language is not philosophy, and he's said to have known the text of the Vulgate by heart, as well as to have mastered grammatically Greek, Hebrew, Arabic, and Chalde Chaldaic, a marvellous feat in one so young when we considered the terrible, robust, and, and involved grammars in use in those days. Father Bellamy, the future cardinal, was about this time taking pity on struggling students and writing for their benefit a simple handbook to Hebrew, and thereby rendering himself a personal benefactor to every Semitic scholar in Europe. But while amassing philological learning of all kinds, Brother Lawrence did not neglect the true science of the saints. He was already remarkable for his piety, especially devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Blessed Virgin. And this joined to his great facility in discourse, marked him out as a very desirable occupant of the pulpit. While still only a deacon, he was sent to preach the Lenten and other courses at Venice, where the forces let loose by the paganism of the Renaissance and the heresies of Germany and Switzerland, not to mention the demoralising Franco-Imperial Wars of 60 years before, had produced a very unhappy state of affairs. Not only was the government un-Catholic in much of his outlook, but vices such as revenge, with his trail of murders and luxury, with his free indulgence in illicit love, made Venice a very fit field for missionary enterprise. Fra Lorenzo left aside that curse of the contemporary pulpit, pedantic quotations and striving after effect. His sermons were clear, solid in matter and from the heart, went right home and produced an abundance of good. From Venice he passed through all the chief cities, preaching, confessing and converting everywhere. In 1596 he went to live in Rome, where his office of definitor of his order required his presence. At the request of the sovereign pontiff, Clement, Clement the Eighth, he preached courses of sermons in Chaldee, Chaldean to the Jews of the city, great numbers of whom, like say another Saint Paul, he confounded, affirming that this is the Christ. Indeed, by this time, Father Lawrence had become one of the great preachers of Italy. His sermons already fill in several folio volumes and all the like models of their kind. In 1602 he was chosen Vicar, Ger Vicar General of his order and appellation changed in 1618 by Paul V to that of Minister General, no doubt to distinguish it from the title of the official of every diocese who exercises jurisdiction in the name of the bishop. Like their great contemporaries, the Jesuits, the Capuchins were during all this period foremost in every enterprise for the good of souls. Not only in Italy but all over Europe, the fathers were to be found actively engaged in every kind of work, from preaching courses or sermons to cooking food for the sick in the hospitals. In 1599, Father Lawrence was sent as a missionary apostolic to Germany to aid in the building up of the faith in a district spiritually ravaged by heresy. The result of his labours was the foundation of three convents of the orders of Vienna, Prague and Graz, respectively, but he actually began his work by nursing the sick during the awful pestilence then decimating the empire. Like Napoleon, during the faithful months that preceded his downfall, the saints seemed to be everywhere and in every place his presence secured some new triumph in the way of fresh foundation or what no doubt he would have considered far better, fervour, conversion of souls to God. 
In the very year of his election as Vicar General in 1602, he made a visitation of the Capuchin provinces of northern Italy, France and Spain. And such was his reputation for holiness and consummate ability that his presence in any quarter invariably aroused an interest such as is generally only caused by personages and results connected with startling secular occurrences. Under John Sobieski's crown and victory over the Turks, an invasion of Europe by the Mohammedans was always something of a probability in continental politics. The naval triumph at Lapanto scotched but did not kill the menace, menace. And after his ascension in 1595, Muhammad III showed his warlike intentions by overrunning and annexing a large part of Hungary. To obtain, to obtain help from the German princes, the Emperor Rudolf II selected as his ambassador the famous Vicar General of the Capuchins as one most likely to effect this end. Father Lawrence's great diplomatic school and his wide knowledge of languages and secular affairs made him almost an ideal envy and very soon not only the German but French soldiers were on their way to the threatened outpost of Christendom. The command of these heterogeneous con contingents was entrusted to the Duke of Mer Mercure, a brave and skillful officer, the governor of Brittany and under Henry the Fourth. But as so often happens, the imperialists on the very eve of battle found that garrisons, sickness, death, lines of communication, etc. had so reduced their numbers that not more than 18,000 troops were available to assault the town. Abbey Royal, then held by 80,000 Turks. Father Lawrence attended the council war and he soon communicated his infusion not only to the generals but to the soldiers. Let the attack, he said, be made God would make up for disparity of numbers. This is worth just mentioning this again. He was up against 80,000 Turks with only 18,000 troops. <laughs> and St. Lawrence of Brindinzi was encouraging him to, to go forward and fight. So with a crucifix in hand, he rode down the lines, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, imparting his blessing and exhorting the regiments to save the faith and Europe by their heroism. The attack that ensued was like the fierce struggle around Badajoz in 1811. Time after time the storming pies mounted to the battlements only to be hurled back into the trenches while the renowned Ren Turkish artillery levelled with the most deadly science carried death and destruction everywhere. Meanwhile our saint did more than exhort ever foremost amidst the carnage his presence seemed a host in itself, and though shot, shot fell in showers all around, he remained untouched. At length the city was taken, and his capture must be regarded as one of the greatest military successes of modern warfare. The Turks lost 30,000 men, and though they made a desperate effort to retake the place, they were again defeated, a victory which under God was generally attributed to their dress and heartening courage of the wonderful chaplain general father lawrence but father lawrence had largely saved the empire by his ex exertions he was to do so still more by his example he must be regarded as the successor of saint peter cantius of the preceding century he had resigned his office of vicar general of the capuchins in 1605 and was therefore free to undertake the work of preaching the faith in Germany, a task which was now entrusted to him by the Holy See. In the pursuance of this object, his invariable method was to explain the nature of the doctrine assailed by non-Catholics, then to show how this had been obscured by ignorance and misunderstanding, and find to support his case by copious references to Holy Scripture. His unrivaled knowledge of biblical texts always gave him a great advantage. While this, alone, while this fact alone made a great impression on many persons who had been led to believe that Catholics and especially Catholic priests knew next to nothing of the word of God. 
it's worth knowing that some Protestants will, will say this still now. And also say that, man, unfortunately, many Catholic laity don't know much either. How we must learn the word of God. For a period of eight months, he traversed Bavaria, Saxony, and the Pal Palatinate, everywhere confirming his co-religious and drawing to the church large numbers of Protestants who were attracted even more by his personal holiness and amiability than by the obvious learning with which he supported his expositions of the doctrines and practices of the church. Not the least of the signal services rendered by this marvellous man to Catholicism was in connection with the League founded in 1609 by Maximilian of Bavaria for the purpose of banding together the Catholic princes and prelates of Germany against the aggression of the Calvinists and their evangelical union. The ruling idea of the Catholic League was to maintain that clause of the Peace of Augsburg, 1555, enacting the bishops and abbots who became Protestants should not take their temporalities with them, i.e. their estates and revenues, a stipulation which had been constantly violated since the epoch-making treaty had been signed. The Emperor Rudolf II now sent Father Lawrence as his ambassador to Madrid to induce the King of Spain, Philip III, one of the leading princes of the House of Habsburg, to join the League and surrender a confederation of international force and authority. This important mission was duly effected, and next year Father Lawrence, on his return to Germany, was nominated by the Pope Nuncio at the court of Maximilian of Bavaria, the founder of the League as stated above, and by far the greatest of all the potentates who formed the general staff, so to speak, of that influential union. The success of the great Capuchin as a diplomatist was fully by this time established over most of Europe, and it's not surprising, therefore, that he should have been selected by the nobility and gentry of Naples as their, as their representative to proceed to Spain to lodge their complaints concerning the, the Viceroy, Osunga, before his most Catholic majesty. Naples had long been the island of Spain, and ever since 1547, when the people rose up against the establishment of the Inquisition, as that institution was understood south of the Pyrenees, there had been periodic torments and almost continual unrest. The moving spirit of the Neapolitans of this period was the Dominican Tommaso Campania, a kind of Savarola, an audacious titan of the modern world, who seemed to have kept the faith in spite of communistic treaties like his Civitas Solis. Such a mission as this was very distasteful to Father Lawrence, who, who worn out with labours, was seeking at this time some repose repose in the monastery of Caserta, true to his generous principle of never refusing any work that was really for the popular good, he consented to go to Philip III, though assured that his own death was at hand, he was graciously received by the king, at whose initiative the whole matter of complaint was gone carefully into and the cause of offence removed. The court was then sojourned at Lisbon, which with Portugal had been annexed to Spain in 1580, and it was in the city of St. Anthony of Padua that the saint was seized with his last illness. He predicted the exact day of his death, and having received with fervent piety the last sacraments, this great son of God and the church departed this life on the 22nd of July, 1619. From this brief and imperfect sketch, it might be gathered that this great light had been raised up merely to shine in the purely public life of the church of his age. But as before remarked, Father Lawrence was above all things a man of God. His devotion to our Lord's presence in the Blessed Sacrament was such that he often went into ecstasies when saying Holy Mass or even praying before the altar. His love of Our Lady too found expression not only in constant devotion to her, but also in several beautiful hymns, 
and his favourite form of benediction was, May the Blessed Virgin, with our Holy Child, bless us. And you can see here an image of, um, of the Blessed Child Jesus blessing us, holding him. His copious writings in Latin and Italian fill eight folios, and many of his controversial treatises are enriched by full quotations in the original from the Latin and Greek fathers. The beatification of this eminent labourer in the spiritual vineyard did not take place till 1783, Pius VI, and his canonization was almost equally protracted, not being finally achieved till 8th of December 1881, when Leo XIII enrolled Lawrence of Brindisi among the saints. St. Lawrence of Brindisi, or Panobus. We ask for St. Lawrence of Brindisi now to pray for our intention. I ask you, dear people, to just pause now and just think of what you would like to pray and ask St. Lawrence of Brindisi, this great scholar, great also um, leader of men, of great courage on, on battlefields as well as being um, and a diplomat, and ask for his intercession. St. Lawrence of Brindisi, Oro Panobus. I ask you, Blessed Virgin Mary, to ask St. Michael the Archangel, Gabriel, Raphael, our guardian angels, the Prophet Elijah, the Patriot Enoch, St. George, St. Anthony of Padua, St. Catherine of Siena, St. Sabas, St. Dominic and St. Francis Sisi, and all, and, um, and all the holy saints with St. Lawrence of Brindisi and all the Franciscans, Oral Panobus, to join us in prayer. As we pray for all your intentions. I pray for all the souls in purgatory that they may be released, that they may have the beatitude of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. I pray this in reparation for all the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred of Jesus. I pray this for all the souls, um, yeah, for, for our guardian angels, our family guardian angels' intentions as a husband and father. And I ask you, dear people, to do the same for your own love. I consecrate my beautiful wife, children, family, and everything that we have seen and unseen, known and unknown, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the sacred of Jesus, the most chaste of St. Joseph, for a guidance and for protection. Amen. The praise and reparation for all the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the sacred Heart of Jesus. I pray this for all the souls in purgatory, that they may be released and may have the beatitude of the Father, Son, and the Spirit, three persons, one God. I pray for a 309 plus Holy Cloak Novena Intentions. I pray this for the end of abortion and the destruction of the culture of death and its many, many wicked manifestations. I pray this for the conversion of Pope Francis, all the cardinals, all the bishops, all the priests, all the religious orders, all the intentions of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus regarding all of them. I pray this for the end of abortion, the destruction of the culture of death and its many, many wicked manifestations. I pray this for all the intentions of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus regarding all our intentions, our family, our loved ones. I pray this for the proclamation of the fifth Marian dogma of Mary's co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate. I pray this conversion of all the Jewish people throughout the world that they may come to know, to love and serve our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, accepting him as their Messiah, the Messiah. I pray this for the conversion of all the Muslims throughout the world, that they who see themselves as um, sons of Abraham, that they may accept he who is the son of that of Abraham, the um, the greatest of the seed of Abraham, that being the Christ himself, who took flesh, the word took flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hallelujah. He who is the prophet that must be listened to. 
Jesus Christ, the Lord, as Moses said. You must listen to him and obey him. Let us pray, dear people. I pray for our 309 plus Holy Cloak Novena intentions. And for all your intentions, dear people. In the name of the Spirit, of Sancti. Amen. Credum Deum Patrum Omnipotentum, Patentum. Creatum Cheria Teret in Jessim Christum Fidium Eos Unicum. Dominium Nostrum Creek Conceptus Es of the Spirit of Sancti Natus Es Maria Virgin. Passo Ponce Palato Crucifix Mortus. Separatus Descendit Ad Infernus. Tertio Dia Resurrexit De Mortus Ascendit Ad Celis. Sedat Dex Terum Deo Patris Ana Patentis. Indi venturus est et judicare vivos a mortus, credum spiritum sanctum, sanctum ecclesiam catholicum, sanctorum, communionum, marissionum, peccatorum, carnis resurrectionum, vitam eternum, amen. And I pray in our Father, free her, her merits and glory be for the Pope's intentions and her increase in faith, hope, charity. Pray. Father, pray now, Father, free our minds of God for the Pope's intentions, her, and the Pope's holy intentions, and her increase in faith, hope, charity. Pater Nostra, who is in Celis, Sancta Vecerta Nomen Tum. Ave Nirenum Tum, Fiat Voluntas, Tuus, Secut in Celo, Et in Terra. Panum Nostrum, Quot Dinum De Nobis Hodi, Et Dimiti Nobis Debita Nostra. Secut in Nos Dimitim, Est Debitoribus Nostra, Sen in Nos Inducus, Sen Tationum, Silipa Nos in Malo, Amen. Also ask for the Lord's blessing. Um... Please help me out. I do a difficult job. I ask that the Lord grants me excellence in my state of my job, that I do in order to fulfill my duties um, in the way most pleasing to our Lord. Amen. I pray for all those who do difficult or hard jobs, that the Lord may strengthen and help them. Amen. Amen. In serving their fellow fellow men uh, and fellow humans. Amen. Pray, Hail Mary, Lord of our Heavenly Father. I may grant to plan a dominus te com benedicta tu omnia ob sub benedictus fructus ventus to you sus sancti amata dei or pnomus peccatoribus nunc et non mot nostra amen praise none of our heavenly father pray hail mary now in honor of the son who died for us and rose again on the third day I may grant to plan a dominus te com benedicta tu omnia ob sub benedictus fructus ventus to you sus sancti amata dei or pnomus peccatoribus nunc et non mot nostra amen I pray, Hail Mary, none of the Holy Spirit. Lord, Holy Spirit, strengthen us. I may grant you plenum dominus te cum benedicta tu omnibus, et benedictus fructus ventus to you, Jesus. Sancti amata de or penumus peccatoribus, nunc et non mot nostri amen. Gloria patria filio spiritus sancto, secuterat in principio. In nunca sempre et in secula seculorum. Amen. I pray, um, the joyful mysteries. Actually, I'm going to pray, um, yeah, let's pray the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Hail, full of grace. And I beg you, blessed Virgin Mary, to pray that the Lord grants a supernatural increase in the Holy Spirit. The infused virtues, the beatitudes for the glory, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. I beg you, blessed Virgin, I pray, Lord, grant a supernatural increase in the Holy Spirit. The infused virtues, the beatitudes. Pater Nostra, quiz in Celis, Sancta Vecerta Nomen Tum. Having a random tomb, fiat voluntas, tu es secut in Celo et in Terra. Panam Nostrum, quod dinum de nobis hodi, et dimiti nobis debita nostra. Secutinos dimitimus debitoribus nostra, senna nos in duca sent tationum. Sed libra nos amalo, amen. O mi gratia plena dominus te cum benedicta tu omnia, o posep benedictus fructus ventus to you, sus. Santa mata de oro pnumus peccatoribus, nunc et non mot nostra, amen. O mi gratia plena dominus te cum benedicta tu omnia, o posep benedictus fructus ventus to you, sus. Santa mata de oro pnumus peccatoribus, nunc et non mot nostra, amen. O my God, to plenum dominus te cum benedictum Maria, but sub benedictus fructus ventus to you, Jesus. Sancti mata de oro pnumus peccatoribus, nunc et non mot nostri amen. O my God, to plenum dominus te cum benedictum Maria, but sub benedictus fructus ventus to you, Jesus. Sancti mata de oro pnumus peccatoribus, nunc et non mot nostri amen. 
I mean, God's plan, God's plan, and dominus take on benedictum, when he opens up benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncat no Mots Nostra, Amen. I mean, God's plan, and dominus take on benedictum, when he opens up benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncat no Mots Nostra, Amen. Ave Maria, Gratia, plan, and dominus take on benedicta to you, a mulier, but set benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncats no Mots Nostra, Amen. Ave Maria Gratia Plena, Dominus Tecum Benedicta Tui, a Mulier of a Sub Benedictus Fructus Ventus to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncats no Mots Nostra, Amen. Ave Maria Gratia Plena, Dominus Tecum Benedicta Tui, a Mulier of a Sub Benedictus Fructus Ventus to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncats no mots nostra, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus te cum benedicta tu mulier, besep benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus peccatoribus. Nuncats no mots nostra, amen. Gloria Pace, Filio Spiritus Sancto, Securitorat in Principio, in nunca sempet in secula seculorum, amen. Domini Jesus indulge, peccata nostra conserva nostra bene inferni. Tu cominis et cielo gloriam percipitur misericordia gentes. And with these beads I bow my wife, children, and only dear people to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the Sacred of Jesus, the Most Chaste Hour of Saint Joseph, Michael the Archangel, Guardian Angels, Prophet Elijah, Patriot Enoch, Saint George, Saint Anthony of Palace, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Sebas, Saint Dominic. Saint Nation Laola for a guidance, Saint um, Lawrence of Brindisi, Oro Penobis for a guidance and for protection, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, Hallelujah, praise you Jesus. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country. I beg you, Blessed Virgin Mary, to pray that the Lord grants us a supernatural increase in the Holy Spirit, the infused virtues, the beatitudes for thy glory, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Pater nostra, quiz in celis sanctificeta nomen tuum, avenue renum tuum fiat voluntas tua, secut in celo et in terra, panum nostrum quotio nom de nobis hodi, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, secut nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, Ena nos in duca sententationum, sed libera nos in malo, amen. Ave Maria, go out and I beg you, blessed Virgin Mary, pray, Lord, go on to supernatural increase in the Holy Spirit, the infu infused virtues, the beatitudes for thy glory, Lord. Ave Maria, go out to plenat dominus, te cum benedicta tu amelioribus, et benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Mata de Oro, penumus peccatoribus, nunc et non mots nostra, amen. Ami gratia plena dominus te cum benedicta tui, a mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus peccatoribus, nuncats no mots nostra, amen. Ami gratia plena dominus te cum benedicta tui, a mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus peccatoribus, nuncats no mots nostra, amen. Ami gratia plena dominus te cum benedicta tui, a mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncats no Mots Nostra, Amen. Ami Gratia Plena Dominus, Te Cum Benedictum Mulier, Besep Benedictus Fructus Ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncats no Mots Nostra, Amen. Ami Gratia Plena Dominus, Te Cum Benedictum Tui, A Mulier, Besep Benedictus Fructus Ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus Peccatoribus, Nuncats no Mots Nostra, Amen. Ami gratia plena dominus te cum benedicta tui. A mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus peccatoribus. Nuncats no mots nostra, amen. Ami gratia plena dominus te cum benedicta tui. A mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Matsa de Oro, Penomus peccatoribus. Nuncats no mots nostra, amen. 
I mean, God's a plan of dominus, take on benedict, to omnia, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Maria, Mata, they are all penomus peccatoribus. Nunc et no mut nostri, amen. I mean, God's a plan of dominus, take on benedict, to omnia, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa Maria, Mata, they are all penomus peccatoribus. Nunc et no mut nostri, amen. Gloria Pati, Filio Spirito Sancto. Sucuturat in principio nunca semper et in secula seculum. Amen. Domini Jesus in dolce vacata nostra conserva nos ad binium ferni. Tu comines et cello gloriam precipitum misericordia agentes. And with these beads I bow my wife, children, I dare people to the Immaculate and Mary, the Sacred of Jesus, the Most Chaste Hour of Saint Joseph, Michael the Archangel, Guardian Angels, Prophet Elijah, Patriot Enoch. Saint George, Saint Anthony of Padua, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Sebas, Saint Dominic, Saint Lawrence of Brindisi, Oro Penobus, for guidance and for protection. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus Christ. The birth of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The time came for Mary to be delivered, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the iron. Sorry, so no room for them in the inn. And I beg you, blessed Virgin Mary, to pray that the Lord grants us a supernatural increase in the Holy Spirit. The infused virtues, the beatitudes for thy glory, Emmanuel, God amongst us. Pater Nostra, quiz in cello, sanctificet in nomen tuum, avene renum tim fia voluntas tuus secutes in cello et in terra, panum nostrum quote nom de nobis hodi et dimiti nomis debita nostra, secutum nos dimitum is debitoribus nostris, ena nos in duca sententationem, se libera nos amalo, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu omnia, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata Dei are all penumus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu omnia, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata Dei are all penumus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena. Dominus tecum and addicted to a mulier, but sub and addicted fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus, nunc et nor mut nostri, amen. Ave Maria gratia plena, Dominus tecum and addicted to a mulier, but sub and addicted fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus, nunc et nor mut nostri, amen. Ave Maria gratia plena, Dominus tecum and addicted to you. A mulier, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. I mean, gratia plena dominus tecum benedicta to a mulier, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena dominus tecum benedicta to a mulier, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. I mean, God to plena, Dominus tecum and addicted to a mulier, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. I mean, God to plena, Dominus tecum and addicted to a mulier, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus, Nunc et no mots nostri, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum and addicta to a mulier, but sub benedictus fructus ventures to you, Zeus. Santa and Mata de are all penomus peccatoribus. Nunc et no mots nostri, amen. Gloria Patria, Filio Spiritus Sancto, Secuturat in Principio, in nunc et semper et in secula seculorum, amen. Domini Jesus, indulge vacata nostra, conserva nos ad binium ferni. Tu culmines et cello gloriam, precipitor misericordia gentis. And with these beads I bow my wife, children, and I only dear people to the Immaculate and Mary, the sacred of Jesus, the most chaste of Saint Joseph, Michael the Archangel, Guardian Angels, Prophet Elijah, Patriot Enoch, Saint George, Saint Anthony of Paris, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Sebas, 
St. Dominic, St. Francis, Sisi, St. Intercisius, St. Sebastian, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, Oro Pernobus, for guidance and for protection. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of our Lord in a temple. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, our ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. And I beg you, Blessed Virgin Mary, to pray that the Lord grants us a supernatural increase in the Holy Spirit, the infused virtues, the beatitudes for thy glory, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Pater Nostra Coesium, Celis Sanctificeta Nomen Tum, Avin Arenum Tim, Fiat Voluntas, Tuus, Secutes in Cello, Et in Terra, Panam Nostrum Cordinum de Nobis Hodi, Dimiti Nobis Debitum Nostra, Secutes in Nostrum Dimitum, Stabitoribus Nostra, Senna Nostra in Duca Sint Tassianum, Celibra Nostra Malo, Amen. Amen, Gratia Plena Dominus Tecum, Benedicta Tua Mulier, Bessa Benedictus Fructus Ventus, Tu Jesus, Santia Matza Dei Oropinomus Peccatoribus, Nunc et non mutus nostri, amen. <coughs> Amen, gratia plena, Dominus tecum benedicta tu, amulier, bus up benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santria mater de oro, penumus peccatoribus, nunc et non mutus nostri, amen. Amen, gratia plena, Dominus tecum benedicta tu. A mulier of a supernedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santia matza de oro penobus peccatoribus, nunc et no mutus nostri, amen. O mi gratia plena dominus tecum benedicta tui. A mulier of a supernedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santia matza de oro penobus peccatoribus, nunc et no mutus nostri, amen. O mi gratia plena dominus tecum benedicta tui, a mulier of a supernedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santria Matza Dei Oro Pnomus Peccatoribus Nuncets No Mutz Nostri Amen. Ami Gratia Plena Dominus Tecum Benedicta Tua Mulier Bus Up Benedictus Fructus Ventus To You Zeus. Santria Matza Dei Oro Pnomus Peccatoribus Nuncets No Mutz Nostri Amen. Ave Marie Gratia Plena Dominus Tecum Benedicta Tui A Mulier Bus Up Benedictus Fructus Ventus To You Zeus. Santria Matza Dei Oro Pnomus Peccatoribus Nuncets No Mutz Nostri Amen. Amri gratia plena dominus tecum benedicta tu a mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santria matta de oro penumus peccatoribus, nunc et no mutus nostri, amen. Amri gratia plena dominus tecum benedicta tu a mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santria matta de oro penumus peccatoribus, nunc et no mutus nostri, amen. Amri gratia plena dominus tecum benedicta tu a mulier of a sub benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santia Matza de Oro Penomus Peccatoribus, Nunc et Nor Mutz Nostra, Amen. Gloria Pacia, Filio Spiritus Sancto, Secuturat in Principio, in Nunca Sempre et in Secula Seculorum, Amen. Domine Jesus, indulge Vacata Nostra, Conserva Nostra, Binium, Ferni, Ducomines et Cello, Gloriam, Precipitum Misericordia Agentes. And with these beads I bow my wife, children, and only dear people to the Immaculate and Mary. The sacred of Jesus, the most chaste of Saint Joseph, Michael the Archangel, Guardian Angels, Prophet Elijah, Patriot Enoch, Saint George, Saint Anthony of Padua, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Sebastian, Saint Dominic, Saint Francis Sisi, Saint Ignatius Loyola, Saint Lawrence of Brindisi, Oro Pernobus for a guidance and for protection. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, hallelujah. The fifth joyful mystery is a joy found in our Lord in the temple. Did you not know that I must be in my Father's house? And I beg you, Blessed Virgin Mary, to pray that the Lord grants us a supernatural increase in the Holy Spirit. The infused virtues, the beatitudes for thy glory, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Pater Nostra, Quiris in Celis. Quiris in Celis, Sanctificeta Nomen Tum. Avena Renum Tim, Fiat Voluntas, Tuus Secut in Celo Et in Terra. Panum Nostrum, Quotinum de Nobis Hodi. Et Dimiti Nobis Debita Nostra, Secutinus Dimitimus Debitoribus Nostris. Enonus in Ducas in Tassianum. 
se libra no se malo, amen. A mi gracia plena dominus te cum benedictum leo, pesa benedictus fructus ventus tu Jesus. Santa mi amata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nu cats no mots nostri, amen. A mi gracia plena dominus te cum benedictum leo, pesa benedictus fructus ventus tu Jesus. Santa mi amata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nu cats no mots nostri, amen. A mi gracia plena dominus te cum benedictum tu. A mulier, but sup on addictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santria mata de rope nomus peccatoribus. Nunc et no muts nostri, amen. A me gratia plena dominus te cum addictu mulier, but sup on addictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santria mata de rope nomus peccatoribus. Nunc et no muts nostri, amen. A me gratia plena dominus te cum addictu to you. A mulier, but sup on addictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santa Mata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nu cats no o mots nostri, amen. Ami gratia plena dominus te cum benedictus tu mulier, but sup benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santa Mata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nu cats no mots nostri, amen. Ami gratia plena dominus te cum benedictus tu, a mulier, but sup benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santa Mata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nu cats no mots nostri, amen. Ami gratia plena, Dominus te cum benedictu mulier, but sup benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santia mata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. Ave Maria gratia plena, Dominus te cum benedictu mulier, but sup benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santia mata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nunc et no or mots nostri, amen. Ami gratia plena, Dominus te cum benedictu mulier, but sup benedictus fructus ventus to you, Zeus. Santa Mata de Europa nomus peccatoribus, nunc et no mots nostri, amen. Gloria Patria, Filio Spiritus Sancto, secutor et in principio, in nunca semper et in secula seculorum, amen. Domine Jesus, in dolce peccata nostra, conserva nos ab bini inferni, du comines et celo, gloriam, gloria, pacipatum misericordia, agentes, misericordia, agentes, and with these beads I bow my wife, children and I, and dear people, to the Immaculate Heart and Mary, the sacred of Jesus, the most chaste star of St. Joseph, Michael the Archangel, Guardian Angels, Prophet Elijah, Patriot Enoch, St. George, St. Anthony of Padua, St. Catherine of Siena, St. Sebas, St. Dominic, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, all Pernobus for guidance and for protection. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordia, Vita do Cedos, Ves Nostra Salve, Viat Clamamus, Exulis Filiae, Viato Susperemus, Gementes et Flentes. In hac lacromam vale, ero guad vocata nostra, illus tuas misericordis oculus annus converti, et gessem benedictum fructum ventris tui, nomus post hoc exilium ostende, of clementa pio dolces rogam maria, or open nova sancta de genitrix, a digni of chamor, promis anibus Christi. Amen. Aramus tuus cujus indigentis per vitam mortem resurrectionem, suum nova salutus eterna premia, compara vit concerta quisima, so hac masteria, Sacratism or Beate Maria Virgins Rosara Recalentes Emitia Mo Quod Continent Quod Promitun Asqua Mo Perindum Christum Dominium Nostrum Amen Sancti Michael Archelangeli Defende Nos in Prolia Concinicritum et in Sidis Diaboli Este Presidium Imperilis Deus Suplices Deptio Mo Tuque Principes Milita Celestis Satana Maleosca Spiritus Malignos Quia Petitionem Anima Prevagunta Mundo Divina Virtutin Infernum Detru Amen, Quod Jesus Sacratissimum, Misery Nobis, Quod Jesus Sacratissimum, Misery Nobis, Quod Jesus Sacratissimum, Misery Nobis, Angel De Cacustissimi, Mitibi Commissum Batatis, Opone Holy Hack Nocte, Lumina, Costoda Rage, Goberna, Amen. Numa Patri, Fido Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Maranatha, 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 come Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 come Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, praise you Jesus. Maranatha, hallelujah, Maranatha, hallelujah, hallelujah, Maranatha, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.